let's click on the course that we are going to work on here. So one of your uh, your classes. Mine is going to be called the Sandbox James Johnson, but I would want you to work in one of the classes that you're teaching. And to get started, before we kind of dive into each one of these sections, let me just give you a kind of a tour of what a typical class looks like. So you have a copy of what we call shell classrooms. Um, and in everybody's shell classroom by default, over on the left hand side, you'll see the main course menu. There is an announcement section. That's kind of like your home page when you log in. Uh, this is a place for you to post announcements for students, tell them what to bring to class, if you want to you know, update things like a test coming up. Then there is a syllabus section. The syllabus section is where you can post your syllabus, cleverly. Uh, weekly content has all the weeks from 1 through 15. There is a faculty info section for you to put in information about yourself, how students can get a hold of you, even a picture of yourself. Um, and there's some other parts like discussion board. Grades are for students. So this is a, a, a menu item that students click on to see their grades. Your grade book is actually down here, and students don't have access to that. So if you click down there, you will see a list of your grade book, and we'll talk a little bit about that in this workshop. Uh, there's a place for you to email students, and then there's just a general kind of help section about, you know, Learning Center and online learning and all that. Up at the top here, this, this bar, uh, this is also important too. If you click on this top thing, you can actually change to other classes just really quickly without having to go back to the, the main uh, homepage. Uh, this thing right next to it is what is called the breadcrumb trail. Breadcrumb as in like the story of Hansel and Gretel, you get lost in the forest, how do you find your way back? So if I click on weekly content and then I click on week one, notice that this kind of expands right here from weekly content to week one. And if I want to go back to weekly content, um, I can just click on weekly content up here or I could click on weekly content over here. This gets important if you have like a bunch of folders within folders within folders so that you can quickly navigate backwards and forwards. This button is student preview mode. You can click on this button to see what things look like actually as a student. When you click this button though, it can actually take a while for Blackboard to process it. So a better way to kind of see things from the student perspective is this edit mode. And edit mode can be toggled from on to off. And when you toggle edit mode from on to off, you're kind of seeing things as a student would see them. So if I go back to my homepage here as announcements, you'll notice it has this little item not available message next to that. That means that it's not available to students. So if I toggle edit mode from on to off, that disappears so that I know as a faculty member that students can't see that.